Beth Crafter from Tencent AI just came out. Using a diffusion model and some clever training techniques, it is able to do impressive detailed depth estimation on videos with just a single camera. In this video, I will be talking about Depth Crafter model and training, some of the comparisons between Depth Crafter and Chrono Depth, Depth Anything V2 and NBDS, go over Depth Crafter versus Depth Anything V2, go over some novel view rendering, and finally some visual effects. If you want to learn more robotics and AI, check out my website at kevinwoodrobotics.com. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So here you can see the structure of the Depth Crafter model. You can see up on top, there's a clip encoder that passes into the diffusion unit. And then at the bottom, there's a denoising score matching going on. And at the far right, you can see that they broke up the training into three stages where they combine synthetic data set as well as a realistic data set. And they'll hold one frozen and the other one make it trainable and kind of switch between the two. And part of this is what makes it really good for video depth estimation because of how they do their training. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the differences between Depth Crafter, Chrono Depth, Depth Anything V2, and NVDS. So if we take a look at this video, you can see I'm going to pause at certain parts of this, but uh, if we look at this part, you can see that some of the cars in the back has a little bit of more details, just slightly, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Um, here, if you notice, um, sometimes right here, the, the, the Death Anything V2 seems to be a little bit better in this particular scene, um, but you can see the front seems to be a little bit overly bright, so I would say that part is not too good. Uh, but if you see, if I keep going through this video, um, you can see that there's some more details here on the car for Death Crafter here. So definitely picking up some more details. Now let's take a look at this next one here. So this is a scene of someone biking around. Uh, if I pause it at some areas, so here you can see that there's some more fine details definitely in the structure in the back. So that's pretty good. And if I keep rolling along and pause this here, you can see that this one slightly better, not a whole lot more significant. If you look at the roof on top, there's a little bit of extra details there if you pay attention to that part. And then here, if I keep going on, um, you can see some of the details in the bike here. So yeah, definitely you could, if you pay attention to the details, you can start seeing some differences. And here's another example of a girl running around in the forest. Uh, if I pause at some areas here, you can see that uh, some of the leaves, you can see the foreground and background, especially with the branches. Uh, you can see that there's more difference between the colors. You can see sometimes in Depth Anything V2, some of the branch in the front seems to be like overly bright, which may end up making it seem like you know one object is much closer than it really is. Whereas in, in the Depth Crafter, you can see that the color distribution has a more a realistic gradient here. And here's another example here. You can see that uh, in this case, this is a faster moving scene. So you can see how it performs in this fast scene. And it's doing pretty well in terms of the overall consistency. So here we're looking at an indoor setting, so specifically the kitchen. And one thing to notice is the window area. You can see that sometimes um, the other models tend to lose details, whereas a depth crafter can pick it up, especially the area of the blinds. So certain scenes, like right here, you can see that the depth crafter is picking up the blinds much better here. And if I keep moving along, you can see that you can see that some areas is doing much better, right? So here's some more in-depth demos on open world videos between Depth Anything V2 and Depth Crafter. So you're gonna see all of these. Examples here on the left side of the slider is going to be Depth Anything V2, and on the right side is going to be the Depth Crafter. But you can see here in the example on the left, there's a lot of fine details that Depth Anything V2 is missing out in the background, whereas the Depth Crafter is picking some of that detail up. And then on the right here with the camel, um, again, you can see some similar situation happening. Um, notice that with the Depth Anything V2, there's a lot of flickering and inconsistency. So you can see sometimes it's bright, sometimes it's dark. But if we look at the Depth Crafter, 
throughout the whole video, the depth map is very consistent. So that part is very impressive. Let's look at a few more examples here. So this one is a close-up of a guy, an uh, old man. And you can see some of the details in the hair that is picking up for a depth crafter. And if you look at the glasses with depth anything V2, there's a lot of flickering that's happening around the glasses here. Whereas with the depth crafter, the glasses, if you focus on glasses area, it's very stable. And then here's another example of a girl or person running in the sand. And notice that there's some sand that flies up here that depth anything V2 is not picking up. So that part is very interesting. I wonder why depth anything V2 can't pick that one up. And here's another one of a lion. Um, you can see here, surprisingly, depth anything V2 seems to pick up some of the smaller strands of the hair more. I think you can see a slightly more gradient happening around the hair because you can see here the lion just looks like a blob of yellow. But with a depth crafter, you can see, yeah, you can see some slight more, slightly more gradient between like the front of the hair and the back of the hair. So that's some details that this is picking up. And then this one here is with the building. This one is pretty obvious with the differences. You can see all of the fine details of the building structure with the depth crafter. And we go here to this other example here. Again, you can see a lot of these details that uh, is picking up on the both right and left. These are examples of animations. And then here is some more example. Um, this one on the right is the one I showed in my thumbnail, but just look at that detail that is picking up for the bridge. Very, very, very fine details far in the back that the depth anything V2 is missing. So here's some example on novel view rendering. So the idea of this is um, we only have one camera right now, but with the depth map, you could estimate what the second camera might seem to capture just based on some calculations. Because the depth map gives you the difference between the pixels, so you could easily extrapolate that information. So here you can see that on the left and right of the slider, um, on the right side is a generated view, and you can see the fuzzy white area. That fuzzy white area is what was the original, and then the new view is kind of overlaid on top of it. So here you can see that the views generated is pretty darn good. Here on the right is another example of a butterfly, also very good. So here's another example here with the camel. You can see it's also doing very well. And same thing with the horse on the right. And a few more examples here, another horse example. And this one here I really like because you can really see the perspective difference. So it's as if you're viewing the bridge from two areas. So this really highlights the difference between the two points of views. So you can also apply this for visual effects. So if you have the depth map, you could extract the foreground and the background. And with that, you could overlay things on top of it. So here you can see that this is a comparison with Depth Anything V2 and Depth Crafter. You can see that it has a, some difficulty extracting the background right, with the Depth Anything V2. But if we look at the overlay, if you compare the two differences, you can see that, oh my god, this one's like kind of being washed out with depth anything v2. And here on the right, you can see that you know, it does a much better job in overlaying this uh, synthetic background. OK, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.